Get ready, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to leverage AI to increase your open and reply rates by at least 20%. This is gonna be a tactic that you may have heard about already if you study cold email marketing at all, and that is first lines. But with the power of ChatGPT and open AI, now you can do unlimited first lines, get hyper-customized basically for free. I'm gonna be showing you how exactly to set this up on your own system, giving you the exact prompt that I use to get first lines that have been proven to work and increase your open rates. We're gonna be diving into all of that in this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Lead Gen J. I run Otter Leads. I've been doing lead generation for about seven years now. Super excited to share with you some of the new technology that I'm using to generate first lines. Let's get right into the video and talk first about first lines. What are they and why are they important? So let's hop on over to the handy dandy screen here. First lines are that first sentence in an email that somebody sees. It's the preview. You see a subject, you see a name, and then you see a little preview of that email. That is the first line. It's the first sentence, and if somebody sees it and feels like that person took the time to write me a personalized sentence, they read my website, they know who I am, they know that I have a YouTube channel and a company, and they've actually been to that website, the chances of me opening to that email and not sending it to spam and not deleting it are much higher. And that is going to translate into your open rates and you're going to see somewhere around a 20% increase in open rates after you implement this strategy. So the recipe, the formula for a good first line are as follows. One, it needs to be a one quick sentence, short to the point. It needs to apply only to that person that you are sending a first line to. That first line shouldn't be great e-com product. I'd love to try it because they know that you could be sending that to all of the e-com prospects that you are emailing. So it needs to be hyper specific to them. It's going to get them to open that email, get them to think that you took the time to write that personally for them. And it's going to spark a reply. Now, what do we do in the past for this? So when I started cold email marketing five, seven years ago, we actually hired a virtual assistant in the Philippines. We taught her how to write first lines as if you were a cold email marketer in America. She would go through all of the data one by one, clicking on LinkedIn URLs and websites, and then finding something in that site to write a first line about. It took a lot, lot of training and it was very expensive. It cost us about 10 cents per first line, ended up costing us like $1,000 a month for very little data processing. With the advent of technology and the accessibility of it, we finally started using a tool called Lynn AI, L-Y-N-E dot AI. And this does essentially what I'm about to show you does, but it's not nearly as powerful, not as customizable, and was very, very expensive. Now, ChatGPT and OpenAI are super accessible for you. It is dirt cheap. I don't know if you've looked at what it costs per word, but it's almost nothing. You would have to do millions of first lines to really make a dent. And you can hyper customize it. You can put it right in your sheet so you don't need to import data and wait. And best of all, it's going to save you a ton of money, increase your open rates, get you more sales. Let's show you what it is and how to actually operate the technology that I'm telling you about. So the application that I want you to add to your Chrome browser right now is called GPT for Sheets. You are going to need a paid OpenAI account. If you need help with that, go to OpenAI, sign up for an account, get an API key, and then add this to your Google Sheets. What that's going to do, once you come into Google Sheets and you've got a data set, which I'm not going to show you right now how to get a data set, find a database. And then you, once you install this, you're gonna come into extensions, GPT for sheets, and then let's go ahead and launch that. You're gonna to wanna to set up your API key if you haven't done that yet. Now on the right side here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of options. I am not gonna go through each individual one. I'm gonna show you how to use the one option that matters to us right now. But if you feel like diving through all of this, their default settings, their list of functions, good for you. And for the purpose of this, we're gonna be talking about how to use this to write first lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, but GPT for sheets. Couple troubleshooting things. If you add this and it's not working, you're gonna to want to make sure that you're in your own Chrome browser, your own user user account. If you're in a user account that has a bunch of users added and you add this to an extension, it's not going to work. Let me show you what you what I mean very quickly. So in the upper right hand corner, when I click on my name, I see all these other profiles here. Right now I'm in only the one j at otterpr.com that has the extension attached. If I were to go to one of these other ones, even though I see the extension, it is not going to work because the extension is not tied to that specific account. All right, so make sure that you're in your account, one. Two, make sure your API key is attached, three. Make sure that you have a good data set with websites here. 
for. Now let's show you how to actually use the tool. How does it actually work? So in order to initiate it, and I'm gonna be giving you the prompt that I use in just a second here, uh, you're going to come into a, a, a sheet column and you're gonna type in equals GPT to prompt it. And you're gonna use the basic one. If you wanna mess around with some of these other options, you're more than welcome to. GPT equals, now the prompt. This is the prompt that I'm gonna be giving you that you're gonna go ahead and just plug in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. Now, as you see, the words right now are black and this took actually took me a little while to learn how to use correctly. They need to be in parentheses. So I'm gonna put one parenthesis at the end there, another at the beginning, and now it turns green. It's live. To go to the value, because the prompt is one thing, but in order to do this in bulk, you're gonna want it to pull data out of each row. So I'm gonna do a comma, and then I'm going to pick the value that it's going to be writing that prompt about. So in this case, it's going to be the company website. So let's go ahead and read this prompt. I'm gonna close off the parentheses here. I could go ahead and put a comma and adjust the temperature, the max tokens, the model. In this case, I will, just to, to teach you. So temperature, let's do one. Max tokens, let's do 200. And then model. All right, let's talk about how to actually use GPT-4 Sheets. All right, so let's go into the spreadsheet, open back up the extension. And I'm gonna show you some stuff that you will not see anywhere else. So we're launching GPT for Sheets. This is where the functions were. Uh, we are, we do wanna set the default settings just in case you don't know what to put or you get lazy and don't wanna install everything. This just defaults. Uh, so the model, you wanna make sure that you have access to all of the models in the OpenAI Playground. So take a look right here. You're gonna be in OpenAI. This is where you're going to get your API key from. So platform.openai.com, you're gonna sign up, you're gonna view API keys or create one. But chances are they don't have access to GPT-4 yet and that's okay because we wanna use, as we wanna make this cheap and effective. So set this to GPT 3.5 turbo, set the creativity to creative. I like to keep that at one and the maximum response size as short. This keeps it nice and simple so that we go to actually do our function. We don't have to think about those other variables. All right, so let's close this out and actually do one of these functions. So to initiate, it, we're going to do equals GPT. Just do the first one. The prompt, we need to start with a parenthesis. And now we're going to input the prompt that I'm going to be giving you in just a second here. And feel free to change this prompt, experiment. I am far from perfect, so there's likely a chance that you can actually do better than me. All right, so the important things are the prompt, if you just put in, remember, wrap it in parentheses or it will not work. Wrap it in parentheses. All right. So prompt, boom, comma, it changes to the next thing. As you can see here, you know what you're putting in. So now it wants the value. The value is gonna be the thing from your row that you're actually writing about. So in this case, it is going to be the website. And now I could do a comma and input their other values, the temperature, the max tokens, and the model, but I already set that in the defaults. So instead of doing a comma, I'm gonna close the parentheses and hit enter. And it's gonna be loading. There's a few errors that you might get here if it doesn't spit out a, a sentence that you might have to troubleshoot through. But if you follow my instructions, it should work just fine. Make sure that you're setting a GPT model that you have access to. 3.5 turbo is usually the one to, to go for. Make sure that you're setting the prompt up correctly with the parentheses, with the comma, make sure that you're selecting the right variable. Hi there, I was impressed with the variety of menu options listed on your website. I'd love to learn more about your catering service. Cool, that sounds like an awesome first line to me. Now to scale this, because doing this one by one obviously is not a very good strategy for reaching out to a lot of people. But what's gonna happen if I just click that bottom arrow and drag it? It is going to do just like any other sheet function would. It's going to replicate that by reading their website and coming up with a first line for that person. So now when you go to export this data, now you have a first line that you can implement in your email marketing that's going to boost your open rates and go a long way for scaling your email campaigns. Now, one other thing that you should know about this ChatGPT for Sheets is that every time you refresh this, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the refresh button now, actually after a few minutes. So it refreshes after several minutes and it's gonna come up with a new answer and charge you for more credits. So once you are done exporting this data, if you were ever to open up this sheet again, it's going to come up with all new first lines. So if you're doing this for a thousand, 10,000 data points at once, that could cost you quite a few dollars. Let's exit this and let's talk a little bit about the prompt. I'm gonna put this prompt in the YouTube description, word for word, how I use it. Now, you need to learn how to prompt Jap chat GPT correctly no matter what you're doing. Some quick tips on how to prompt it for email marketing. Start with 
act as a professional cold email marketer. Keep it simple, sound like a human, don't sound cringe. Then be as specific as possible. Another thing that I've found when prompting it is if I try and give it examples of information to pull, like look at their case studies and testimonials and pull a data point from there and respond to it, it's only going to do that. And sometimes if it can't find one, it's going to say something inappropriate or make something up. And then you get the opposite result of what you actually want. So use my prompt, edit it, play with it, do some testing on your own. But this is a way to build your own first line bot, first line tool and scale it as big as you want with almost no time, totally for almost free. If you found this helpful, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a lot about using AI in lead generation. You're not going to want to miss that content, guys. Just want to pour knowledge into you so that you can scale your company faster. And if you need some personalized help, schedule a call with our team to actually build these lead generation systems for you so that you can focus on what you do best. Hope you found this helpful. See you in the next video.